y'all i ordered uh from morphe for the first time a couple days ago and got the 35023475 palette beauty guru at your service come through come through with the looks because I, I i didn't i didn't even know i had this in me what if you guys did you go peace here welcome back to my channel today y'all are <laughs> um we'll have to sneeze <laughs> So everyone has heard about the conspiracy with Eco Styler. It hasn't even been a conspiracy because it's been on the ingredients, the back of our jars for years. Ain't nobody look, ain't nobody cared. I'm pretty sure people still don't care, but I'm not one of them. I saw African Beauty here on YouTube using this product for a while. If these ingredients are in all these other products, are they in the product that African Beauty was recommending? And I went on that little app, Think Dirty, Shop Clean, that Brie Hall recommended in her video, and they didn't have it on there. Cause DNA didn't have it, cause Cause DNA is more so for makeup. So I literally had to go ingredient by ingredient searching them up because I did not know what any of these things meant by my knowledge and my research it is safe say if you look something up on think dirty the products will be if it has like a number eight it's usually the fragrances that are dangerous and we can't really go into the fragrances because the company is not going to release the how many millions and thousands of chemicals they have in their fragrance so I'm not allergic to fragrances I haven't been before but you know I can be but as of right now um, I don't see that as too much a red flag just know that fragrances means probably over a thousand over a hundred chemicals to make it smell good today I'm going to try out that product I keep saying, they keep saying that product that product is the, the texture ID styling cream let me just say this as I take off the tape so I've been seeing this around YouTube a lot more mostly from African Beauty here on YouTube this is supposedly the juice it's supposed to, supposedly the tea like oh no the tape when you order online from Sally's took off part of the I just want to be able to read the ingredients but anyway um I already looked at the ingredients because the ingredients were online funny enough for if you look up ugh, I can't talk funny enough if you look up eco styler gel on Sally's there's no ingredients like they didn't post the ingredients I felt like that was a little sketchy um but for this item that's how I was able to see the ingredients because there's no forms there's no uh There was no like, listing the ingredients, no nothing, no blog posts, none of that. So thank you to Sally's for providing that information. I know you didn't provide the equal style of information because obviously that no one wants us to know. So, uh -huh. um, I'm going to be just take, uh, trying this out on a wash and go. I usually never do wash and goes, but I heard that this is the tea for wash and goes and you know... I might just twist it back up. I got my spray bottle because it's been a good, yeah, my hair is dry. <laughs> it's been a good freaking couple of hours. Let's look at the specs. So, extra ID is for curly to coily hair types, and I love that it has uh, the four different hair types, and it's showing, it's highlighting the type three and type four, saying it's for type three and type four hair. So if you have type two or one, it would weigh your hair down, make your hair look oily, it won't work basically and um, I'm just wondering why it sounds like this because I got it in the mail it is hot it's very hot um but it's been a good you know a couple hours that's why I didn't do the video as soon as I got you know out the shower because I was like okay this sounds like water and now it still sounds like water it sounds like there's bubbles I'm gonna apply to dry or damp hair I'm gonna apply to dry hair because I want my curls to pop root to tip it says uh provides medium hold while retaining moisture and elasticity Okay, so the texture ID styling cream, cocoa butter and shea butter. It's a little unboxing. Oh, this reminds me of like what Just For Me should have smelled like. Not the perm, but like the original products. It smells like, it smells like my childhood. Oh, wow. I don't know if you hear that. Ah. It's like... So it's very gelatinous. So it's, it is almost like a gel, but it's a cream. I'll see what y'all do. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go in and do my hair. So, so I have type 4B natural hair. I, before, when I first went natural, I was like, I'm 4B, 4A, 4C, like everything. But um, <laughs> back then I did not know how to take care of my hair at all. And that was when I first went natural. I don't know I'm scared like I never do wash and goes like how do you define your I'm just gonna since like 
I'm pretty sure wow since like I'm pretty sure I can't just like put this on my hair and go I'm going to twist it up and then take it off the twist um and it would be like a you guys know how like the type for hair is not really wash and go it's like a wash and go get ready for and then you see what happens wow it's so it's like a marshmallow I not know if I should put a lot in my hair or a little bit so I'm just gonna go from the middle I think I don't I'm just saying, like, do I use a brush with this product? Like, will that be cheating? Like, because I want to see if it actually defines my curls. But, like, I don't know. It's not wet enough. <laughs> it's not necessarily defined, but I feel like it's because it's dry. Er. The fuck out. Like, my hair is not wet. Oh, yeah, I have high porosity hair. So, that uh, explains a lot. Like my hair is literally wet, but it's not wet. And you would think, oh, you might have low porosity. No, since I have high porosity. Let's see if this is the one product wash and go. Hope nobody clowns me. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a lot of product, but I think it's because literally my hair is. Yeah, so I'm not putting that much what. What the fuck is going on? You guys, I don't do wash and goes. Like, I usually leave the kink in my hair or whatever i don't want to come off as if i am like a natural hair guru i'm not um i'm just a girl with natural hair and i know some people just don't like hearing stuff like that i made a thread on twitter talking about how to turn your wash day into a wash couple of hours um it was like my whole method of how to wash your hair whether type 4 or type 3 in 30 minutes um wash and condition um and a lot of people were like grateful for it but then some people were like hmm like you didn't follow these steps you didn't deep conditioning yes i condone deep conditioning but um if you're trying to wash your hair in 30 minutes or if you have a lot of stuff to do if you have to like get your hair clean before going to somewhere or going to appointment anything like appointment like as in like going outside not like getting your hair done because then i will say of course deep conditioning your hair this smells so good but i don't know if she's a I don't know if she's doing it for me i feel like my hair will definitely have to be fully submerged so this might be a poopy fail on my part because i know y'all see this definition but then my ends are like frizz so and then i don't want to put it on too much on my ends because then it would definitely it would definitely become like droopy and watery like that It is definitely defined. Here's the tea, guys. I'm just kidding. So I ended up pouring bottled water into my water, my spray bottle, because I feel like the water from my faucet is like hard water, because every time I spray it on my hair, like my hair, I share with the sulfate shampoo with how it feels like squeaky clean. That's how my hair feels, and I'm just like, wait, it's water. What the fluff, you guys? This may be. I'm upset. What? Do you see this? Do I have to do this whole side? I'm not doing that. You, I'm shooketh. I'm so angry. Okay, let's see what happens if I brush it. I feel like the brushing makes it worse. So, honestly, we did I just get some stuff on my camera. We don't need to brush anything because brushing makes it more um, frizzy. This is the last section, and I'm pleasantly surprised. It was <laughs> Guys. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try out is trying to slip my hair back with this. I feel like that may be a problem because, girl, my hair did not slip back for nobody. The thing about this product, um, you know, for people that don't got it like that or for people that just don't feel like spending a lot of money, I feel like I have to use quite the bit of product to have slip. But since I don't have a mirror, you guys will have to tell me or I just have to figure out later, like, using a little bit of product does it you know get defined what i just used now was a lot so but you guys could tell in the previous clips that 
you know maybe a little bit does go a long way because I just don't feel like it's only nine dollars but still like I don't want to have to you know be buying this every two weeks you know or like buying this I want to buy this every six months you know what I'm saying so I mean and I already made a pretty good dent but like do people do wash and go all the time I don't but I'm definitely gonna be trying to use this in place of gel not for my edges because I already got something for that but I mean I'm hoping for the best you guys I think she's defining way more than gel would in the sense that you see every individual curl like and that's weird that's why I'm just like oh it's crazy then I'm like wait I look in the mirror and I'm just like wait no that's like my actual hair like I don't have to do a twisty twist like it's a bit more frizzy but alright you guys the texture ID has definitely deposited itself everywhere in every corner of my room but I finished my twist I put it in a ponytail and since I um, don't know how like it would streak up my hair. I stretched my ponytail a little bit so I can have a little bit of length. Um, and I tied my ponytail um, just twice. 